Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a test today on another one of the DIY stoves that Colorado Camper sent to me. It's this one. You might remember that the other day I did a test on this one that he sent to me and we got some interesting results. But what I'm going to do today is this one. Now here's a picture I took earlier of the two. The one on the left with the large holes is the one I'm going to test today. As far as diameter, height, uh, and weight, let's say, they're just about exactly the same. A little bit less in weight because of the larger jet holes. But uh, the one on the left has large holes. They look like they were made with a paper punch. 14 jets. The one on the right also had 14 jets, but they were much smaller holes, uh, looking like they were made with a, a thumbtack or something, something small. So, I don't know what to call this stove. When you look back on the video that Colorado Camper did, he had this lineup. This was, wasn't was one of them that he sent. So what I called this one the other day, or what, rather what Colorado Camper called it, was his hybrid side burner. So I'm going to call this also a hybrid side burner, but low pressure. Because with this size jets, it's definitely going to be low pressure. Okay, so this is another one. It's a stove, not a burner. It has the nails in the side, on the top rather, three of them, so that the pot will lay on that rather than on the stove itself cooling it off and making the jets go down. So let me get my water prepped, some alcohol in here. And I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prep, two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees right now. I have three quarters of a fluid ounce, 25 milliliters of alcohol in the stove. Let's light it. See how long it takes to get to a bloom. Okay, there's blossoms coming out. So two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see on this, I'm hoping it's focusing in, that uh, some fairly nice flames. Your regular kind of flame that you'd get off a cat stove. This is pretty much a double walled cat stove if you really want to get down to it, I guess. Uh, if you go to his the video that he did on this stuff, He'll also give you the link, I should give you the link too, to the uh, Zen site for camping stoves. Really good information there. But uh, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. Come on. 211. To 12 and 7 minutes 9 seconds. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil of 212 degrees Fahrenheit in 7 minutes 9 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, there's the flames are going. Going. Let's say gone at 9.38 okay interesting let's go back to camera one All gone. okay so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a full boil in seven minutes nine seconds with the other burner that took 5 minutes 54 seconds, so this took a little more than a minute longer. No, I took, yeah, a minute longer to get it to a boil. And then this ran out in 9 minutes 38 seconds, whereas this one ran out in 8 minutes 30 seconds, so again, about a minute longer. Hmm, interesting. So it's a little bit slower, not much really, but a little bit. But it gets the job done. And this is just with holes used from a paper punch. You know, a regular everyday paper punch. Okay. 
So I don't see any, you know, just about, I guess this would give you a little bit more simmer time. Uses the fuel a little bit better, it looks like, than the smaller jetted one. About all I can say with that. So now I have times on these two. So I thank Colorado Camper for sending me these stoves to play around with. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.